Hello, hello. So some big news that I know I've been waiting for. Um, OpenAI's new image generation now has API access. So uh, just really quickly, um, how do you set that up in N8N? Um, I just rushed through this real quick. Uh, so it's a, obviously it's going to be HTTP request. It, this is an NN, obviously. Um, you could just use the predefined credential types because OpenAI is like part of their system, NADN system. And then set up your OpenAI credential, which I hope you have by now if you're watching this video. Uh, send headers, you know, it's just the, app, the content type application JSON. Then you have the body. And it's, it's pretty much, it, they didn't change much in the API call. You know, there's the new model. Um, quality high that's pretty much it there's a number now this what i'm going to show you is just for one image because you'd have to change how you set it up if you have more than one image um but this is how i set it up and i don't know if this is the best way because i rushed to do this <laughs> i just was very curious uh so i set up an edit field uh set yeah set field edit field uh you manually will map the output right so the output you get is base 64 Right, it's a base64 string. So you have to convert that to binary. So the first thing you want to do is save that string. And you would you would you have to change this. Either I'm not sure if you need to use a code node, but you'd have to change this because it'll be more than one image. Then you'd have to change this. But anyways, yeah. One image is how you would set it up. You just drag this over and name your uh your file, name your uh your variable, drag over the b64 under underscore JSON into the set field, edit field. And then you're going to convert to file. Um, yeah, so there's different options with convert to file, right? You just want to get the move basic of our string to file. That's all we're doing. Um, you're just going to have the name here, so with this, of the field, the base, it's image underscore base64, the data output, right? The, the output field you want to the, the data to go into, which is data, like data is a generic one. Um, and that will convert it to binary and then you just send it. Well, do whatever you want with it after that point. I send it as part of my, uh, I have a, an assistant here that I use in WhatsApp and LinkedIn messenger and telegram that, does, you know, it's just a helpful, fun assistant. But anyways, yeah, that's a short version. If you need help, let me know in the comments. Take care. Bye.